All right, here you go, order of operation. Plug in three for each x, and that's order of operation. So you're going to square it first. So that's how I got the 9. Do what's inside the parentheses. So I got a negative 2. Multiply those guys together. Negative times negative gives me positive 8. And there's my 18. Add them together. 26. I'm going to square that guy. So that's 4 plus 4, which is 8, minus 8, which is 0. And then you just add them together. 5 plus 12, 17. Perimeter is a distance all the way around. This guy's an x squared. Then x times x would be x squared, and that's how you'd find the area of that guy. Area, there's area, x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared, and x squared. So that gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. There's a 6 for the area. And there's a y squared. There's two ones for the perimeter. All those x's all the way around, because these are x squareds y minus 1 because the whole thing is y minus this little one right here that's a y y minus this x right here y minus the x and then you just add them up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 minus 1 minus 2 and that gives me my 12 1 2 3 4 y's one, two, three, four, five, minus one, ones. Find three consecutive even numbers. So if I guess 10, then the next one would be 12, then 14, and their sum is 234. So I just added them all together, and there it is. So I guess something larger was too big, and I guess something smaller. Combine the like terms. That's a negative five. And 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 gives you minus 4 more is negative 6. Minus 6 more is negative 12. Negative 7 minus 9 gives me negative 16. Negative 16 minus another 8 is negative 24. And then just add those two together and get that guy. You could break it up many different ways. I broke it up into this rectangle, which was 25, that length, and that width. So that's the area right here. If this is 10, that whole thing is 30. Then this part right here would be 20. If this whole thing is 25, and this part is 20, then this guy's got to be 5. Whole thing is 25. This little part is 15. So that's got to be 10. So 10 times 20 gives me the area of that guy. Base times height divided by 2 is the area of a triangle. Add them all together. I subtracted x from each side. That's how I got the 5x. Add 3. I got the negative 65, divide by 5, and there's my negative 13. I plug my negative 13 in for the x here and the x here, and that gives me uh, this part. Simplify that sign, it gives me a negative 81, negative 81 over here, so that means it's true, it worked. So 3x minus 4x gives me a negative x, minus 5, that's why it's a minus 5. Combine like terms, that's how I got the 4. I added x to get rid of this negative x. That's how I got the 5x. Subtracted 20, or yeah, subtracted 20. Get my negative 25, divide by 5. I get my negative 5. I did ounces over dollars, so I have to do ounces over dollars. I butterflied. That's how I got the 60x equals that ugly guy. Divide by 60 on each side. Since it's money, you always round to the second decimal place. That's the sense. The x's are on the same side of the equal sign, so you always combine like terms if you can. That's how I got the 9. 
subtracted 49 from both sides, divided by negative 6, plugged it in to check it, distribute the negative, that's how I got the negative 6x and the plus 15 minus a negative, gives you plus 15, combine like terms, there we go, plus 6x to each side to get rid of this negative 6x, add 7, divide, Uh, these people like the kings. This number's probably dropped, but now that they're moving, 7 out of 28 like the kings. So something out of 1720. And then I just multiplied by 1720 to each side, and I got 430 people like the kings.